Hey guys, Kaylee with Kbox Creations. Um, I just finished making myself a new personal wallet last night, so I thought it might be a cool idea to make a video of all of the personal wallets that I've used, and then also, um, I haven't actually had used that many because like I use one and I use it for a really long time. So there's only two that I've had before, but I figured I'd show you guys the first duct tape wallet that I ever made too. It's kind of crazy. Um, so yeah, this is the first duct tape wallet that I ever made. It's turquoise and white, and it's really bad. I never used it. It just has two card pockets and the billfold. And there's like a million fold over lines and yeah I never used it um, I didn't watch a tutorial when I made it I just kind of um, made it from my head so yeah it's pretty crazy that I went from this to making the waltz that I make now so it's kind of fun to look back and see that's why I've kept it and I didn't throw it away because I like to look back and see the progress um, then the first wallet that I ever made for myself. I think this was also my first women's wallet that I made. Um, again, I didn't watch a tutorial. I just made it up as I went, but this was the front of it. And it's real tree camo with turquoise trim and then a yellow ruffle. And I didn't watch a tutorial for the ruffle either. I figured that out on my own. And the inside has one, two, three, four, five, six, seven vertical pockets and an ID and then one billfold over here and I used this wallet for a super long time you can tell it's pretty beat up um, like the edges are starting to peel up and there's like sticky bits everywhere like right there it's kind of tearing up because I used it so much I think I used this wallet for like over a year I want to say I made it yeah I think it's like a year and a half because I made it during my first year of college I think and then just actually stopped using it maybe a couple months ago so it held up really nice I just wanted a new one that's why I made a new one so yeah the one that I made after that was the Star Wars wallet and the front you have Darth Vader and the word Star Wars and then this is like Chewbacca's I don't know exactly what it's called but it's the belt that Chewbacca wears and then the back design is R2-D2 because I love R2-D2 he's my favorite he's so cute and then the inside um, just has one two three four card pockets and a billfold and then I made little lightsabers on the top of each card pocket just because you can't have a Star Wars wallet without a lightsaber. Um, yeah, I really like this wallet too. I got a lot of compliments on it. And um, I think the best way to promote your duct tape business is to actually use your products. I pulled this out at um, like the Domino's down the street or something and somebody asked, oh that's really cool did you make it and I said yeah I sell them and gave her handed her a handful of business cards and that's happened a lot like in line at grocery stores and any stores people ask and so always carry business cards with you and use your product I use this wallet for quite a while um, I just wanted to make a new one again there's really nothing wrong with it I mean it's a little beat up on the edges from putting it in and out of my purse so much, but the this front design isn't even isn't clear taped, and it's not feeling well. A little bit of the line on Darth Vader is, but it's holding pretty nice. So yeah, and then the wallet. Oh, I have one more. I used this card wallet. I just made this not long ago. There's really nothing wrong with it. Leopard and mustache it's in my picture. Um, six card pockets. Yeah, I'll probably still use this, or I'll make one to match the wallet that I just made. Um, yeah, there's nothing wrong with it. I just switched to a bigger wallet. Um, yeah. And then the one that I just finished last night was also my first woven wallet. This is what the front looks like. It is tan, turquoise, and 
like silver chrome like regular duct tape and I added magnetic clasp on it there's two of them there's like one there and one there so it looks really nice um, this is what it looks like all together all opened up and this is my first woven like women's woven wallet I did a like a short men's woven wallet and it turned out okay but it, it wasn't very great the weave was really big and I like the smaller weave a lot better um, and yeah and then on the inside um, I made the inside part all silver woven and then I clear taped over it so like nothing will get caught and the top is a billfold and I didn't put an ID in mine because I never use ID slots I just put my ID in a credit card slot and then over here I added a little ziploc pocket I might keep business cards or something in there and then the bottom I put two expandable pockets so I use one there and one there. And then the middle I put a Ziploc coin pouch and I just put all my other random miscellaneous junk in there. This one doesn't have much in it yet. Um, I'll probably clean out my purse and empty all the junk in my purse into my wallet. So yeah, I really, really like how this one came out. It folds up nice. I think it's pretty thin for a wallet. I mean, I have stuff in here right now and got two Ziploc pockets on it. So I think it's pretty thin for a woven wallet. Um, yeah, I really, really like how this one came out. I think I'll use it for a while. I might clear tape the front of it just so that the edges don't get like little fuzzies and stuff on it. But yeah, this is my new personal wallet and I'm absolutely in love with it. So yeah, um, these ones are for sale. A woven wallet like this is going to be $24. It took me three hours to make, so it's actually a really good price. This uses a whole lot more duct tape than a regular woman's wallet would. Probably twice as much. And yeah, so if you want to purchase one, just send me a message, comment, anything like that. So yeah, I hope you guys like this video, and comment, rate, and subscribe, and all that good stuff. Bye!